Hello everyone, you're watching Christian Chat. I want to tell you about something I read in the paper today. Something so vile, something so disgusting, that I feel obligated to share it with the world. It was the Swedes. It was about the Swedes, the fucking Swedes. Last time it was the Pirate Bay. Last time it was the Pirate Party. And this time, this time it's about a family, if that's what they call them there, families. This time it's about a family trying to raise their child without disclosing their gender to every stranger that walks past. What a bizarre backwards place Sweden is, with their bizarre notions of freedom. Not like it's here in the not like it is here in the good old US of A. Not like here in the good old United States of America where I have the freedom. Nay, I have the responsibility to raise my child under the influence of the good word of the Lord telling me how to fuck them on their perspective of reality. One question leads to another, leads to another question, and pretty soon they're questioning the whole damn thing. I can't answer that. I'm not here as some serpent here to give them an apple. I'm not here as some sort of Swedish snake, straying them away from the gates of heaven. and into the grips of the devil. I'm here to protect them from that. I'm here to protect them from the devil and the devil's influence. I'm here to get them into heaven like the good Lord intended. Like the good Lord intended. That's a... Uh, Okay, um, uh, you're not actually listening to Christian chat, and uh, this is actually genderqueer chat, and uh, I should say that I don't represent everyone here on gender genderqueer chat, I only represent myself, so um, if you're a Christian, um, I apologize, my impression of that particular Christian was somewhat exaggerated, but it was a an exaggerated impression of this character that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Thank you for letting me do it. The good eyes of the Lord. Um, so yeah, welcome to Gender Crew Chat. My name is uh, Sigflup, also known as Assembly Assembly. Today is Wednesday, which means it's time once again for me to fill in. Uh, this week's topic uh, concerns a Swedish family um, who uh, decided to not disclose the gender of their child, their, I believe, three-year-old child, I forget, young child. And, uh, you know, you, you know, they say that heaven, is a lot like TV. It's a perfect little world that doesn't really need you. And everything there is made of light. And that's where you experience bliss, you experience peace, and happiness. But in my own experience, I found that happiness for me comes from knowing that the world needs me. Knowing that I'm able to change the world. For me, that's where happiness comes from. It gives me meaning in an otherwise meaningless place. So I guess going to heaven is its own meaning. I can sort of understand that, albeit I'm not of that influence. When I was, um, 
Um, during my early adult years, I spent it with this woman um, who's a close friend. She isn't a partner or anything like that. And uh, her daughter. And uh, I was convinced that her daughter was going to grow up to be this huge dyke. It, it was just a matter of time. She really likes boobs, right? So that must be, that must be a sign. And she grew older and older. The years passed. And as the years passed, my enthusiasm for her becoming what I wanted her to be shrank and shrank. Because she wasn't becoming what I wanted her to be. She was come, becoming her own person. And she was experiencing the world differently than how I experienced it when I was her age. Despite how much I wanted her to experience it the way that I experienced it. What I learned from, from, from that experience, right? what I learned from being my friend's daughter's auntie, not her parent, I can't claim to be her parent, but what I experienced from, from having this child in my life, in, 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 the, uh, in, in the context that she was, um, I learned that uh, as children grow, as they get older, the world that they inherit is not the world that you live in. The world that they inherit is their own world. And it's not one that you can readily experience because your perspective is, is already cemented. Your, the world that you see is different from theirs. And you can't predict what a child will become. I personally think about this Swedish child that um, it was bound to happen. That sooner or later, with uh, what we're talking about, sooner or later with what queer individuals and feminists and all these things are teaching, or at least talking about, sooner or later there was going to be a family that chose to not disclose their child's gender. Whether this be for good or bad, I can't really say. But I can't stop it. I can only watch and see what happens. And wonder if I should ra raise my partner and I should raise my future partner. And I should ra raise our child, should we have one, be it through whatever means. If we should raise our child in a similar way. If I were raised that way, I think I would have fucking loved it. I think it would have been just, I think it would have been fucking beautiful, to be honest with you, if I were raised that way. If I were raised without any notion of what gender is or any policing by those who are closest to me being my family of what I should and should not be doing, well, I might be a happier person, but that's me. That isn't this child. 
there's no telling how this child will grow up. So I guess my, my point is I think it's inevitable that someone try and raise their child like this and the only thing that we can do is sit back and watch. The um, one thing, one other thing that I kind of want to touch on a little bit here is, okay, so I, I was walking uh, down the street, I was walking into this store with my friend and her girlfriend, and her girlfriend is rather femme, and I guess I'm butch, although I don't really, um, I don't, I don't like butch and femme, uh, very much. It, it's not something that's been a part of my life, uh, nor do I want to make it something that's a part of my life, and, uh, so this, this woman was, was biking by, and saw the both of us. My friend, my friend's girlfriend is in front of me and my, my friend is behind me. And this person turned to me and was like, Oi, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. And uh, I took it that she thought that we were a butch femme couple. And th this woman who nudged and winked was um, a bit older. I would say she was in her mid-40s. And I find that people who are in their mid-40s, people who are older than me, are beholden a little bit to notions of butch femme and these things. Because that was the world that they lived in. And that's not the world that I live in now. The world that I live in now, I don't call myself any of these things that they would call themselves. I call myself gender queer. And this word may have very little meaning to them, but it has a lot of meaning to me because I'm using it in the world that I live in, not theirs. And people who are younger than me, this child who is considerably younger than me, what they will call themselves, I can't even imagine. I can't even begin to guess. Now, the only thing that I can do is let them call themselves what they call themselves. And the only thing I can do to any child is offer love and support. And this isn't my child. I don't know where I was going with that last comment, this isn't my child. By the time I paused, I figured I would have something to say. But, but, uh, um, um, as long as they, as long as they're loving and supporting of their child, all the better. And uh, to completely divorce yourself from the influence of how you see your world, be it that gender is a negative thing, Or that your purpose is to bring them through the gates of heaven is incredibly difficult. But it doesn't matter how you try and influence your child because they will grow up to be their own person and they will grow up in a world that's different from the world that you grew up in.